The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Abbas Tajuddin, has congratulated President Bola Tinubu on his victory at the Supreme Court, stating that the victory was not only for Tinubu and the ruling of Progressive Congress, but also for all Nigerians. He called on all to work with the government to move Nigeria forward. Judgment from to God be the glory. It is not something unexpected. It's something that we have been waiting. We know ultimately what we heard today is what is going to be said. But the fact that it has come at these early hours, we have nothing to say but to say thank God to Nigeria. Thank God to all the good people of Nigeria who prayed for this particular day, for this historic victory. I think um, this time around, after this pronouncement, we have no excuse but to go back to business as usual, to go back and reset our agenda and see what we can be able to do for the people of Nigeria for the next three and a half or four years. They should take heart. There is always one victor at a time. This is Aswaju's time. They should all take heart, come and join hands with him so that we move Nigeria to it. I would like Ganda J, the party's national chairman, praise President Tinubu's victory as a revalidation of the candidate and electoral and judicial process in the country. The only for APC is a success even for other political parties and a success for Nigerians. This has indicated that uh, democracy is getting matured in Nigeria uh, because politicians, after election, instead of uh, resorting to, you know, infight, resorting to causing confusion, uh, we resort to the judiciary. And this is what, uh, this has shown that a democracy is in action. So I think what we can learn from this judgment is that Nigeria has come of age. Uh, first and foremost, we thank uh, the almighty Allah for making this possible for us. Nigerians have spoken during the general election. They elected who they want to lead this country and as usual, those that were not able to take the defeat decided to go to the courts. The Supreme Court has clearly made it that a winner has emerged, and that winner is the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, in person of His Excellency, Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Excitement of joy, you know, anything that deals with the courts, uh, you know, kind of uh, pulls, holds you back. So once you know that the Supreme Court, it's made a judgment, it's quite exciting because now we're going to move ahead. Um, I know that our president, um, His Excellency, President Tinibu has uh, great plans uh, for the nation and particularly like in my state, um, and I wouldn't want us to miss out on that at all. So his victory is not just a victory for the, um, for the nation, but particularly those of us who are quite warmed up to be on the same page of growth and development as he is intending. It is a larger victory for all of us. First and foremost is to thank the Almighty God for giving us such a peaceful end to this uh, uh, entire exercise. Democracy is a full exercise. And you can see the exercise started, you know, from the primaries to the elections to the court cases, and now it's over. So I think it's now time for everyone to get together so that we can rebuild our country, rebuild the economy, support Mr. President, you know, and I'm sure Mr. President will be more than happy to call on all those, even those who have taken him to, to court, you know, to call on them to come and give their contributions. Because as far as this country is concerned, we need everybody in order to move on. And I think that's the right direction to go. So I congratulate Mr. President. The Supreme Court dismissed appeals filed by the Opposition People's Democratic Party and Labour Party along with their candidates Atiku Abubak and Peter Obi. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.